hello good day viewers in this tutorial i'm going to take you through the various steps required to find the inverse of your matrix we're going to talk about two by two matrix and three by three matrix but before we start i would like to let you know that you cannot find the inverse of a singular matrix a singular matrix is that type of matrix in which its determinant is equal to zero and there are four things you need to know in order to find the inverse of a matrix you should know how to find the determinant of a matrix you should know how to find the cofactors of a matrix you should know how to find the transfers of a matrix which combine together to give the adjoint of a matrix so you should know how to find the adjoint of a matrix so let's start with two by two matrix so first we have a matrix a that has these entries two uh, maybe four three three we want to find the inverse of this matrix which is donated by this to find the inverse of this matrix a it has a particular formula which is one over the determinant of the matrix multiplied by the adjoint of the same matrix so we are going to find the adjoint of this matrix as well as the determinant of this matrix so let's start by finding the determinant of this matrix which is donated by by this this is equal to we are going to multiply the leading diagonals together we have 2 multiplied by 3 then you subtract you multiply the other diagonals 3 times 4 so we have 3 multiplied by 4 this is equal to 6 minus 12 and this is equal to negative 6 this is our determinant now let us go ahead and find the adjoint of this matrix adjoint of this matrix A is nothing but B transpose transpose of a matrix B but what is this B this matrix B is nothing but cofactors of matrix A. So we are going to do two things here. First is to find the cofactors. Second is to find the transpose of the cofactor. The transpose of the cofactors is said to be the adjoint of matrix A. So let us find the cofactors. But before then, you should know this. This entry is positive. I have shown you that. This is negative entry. This is going to be uh, negative while this is going to be positive. So whatever you obtain there, you have to multiply by the respective signs here. So let's find the cofactors, cofactors of this matrix A. Each and every entry has its unique cofactor. So to find the cofactors of this one one element, that is the first row, first column element, we are going to close or delete the rows and the column of that matrix if you close this and close that this is the element you are left with which is three multiply it by the sign there which we have as positive so it remains positive three moving on you you close this column you close this row we are left with this entry which is three multiply it by the sign which we have there as negative so it becomes negative three Moving down here, we close this column, we close this row, we are left with this 4. Multiply by the sign there which is negative, it becomes negative 4. And the last but not the least, which is 3, you close this, you close that, you are left with 2. 2 multiplied by positive sign, it's still positive. So this is said to be the cofactor of this matrix A. And you know this is our matrix B because we have declared it to be the matrix B. Next, we are going to find B transpose. So B transpose. To obtain B transpose, we are going to transform all the rows into columns. So the first column is going to be the first row here. This is our first row, 3, negative 3. 3 negative 3 and the second column is going to be the second row here 
negative 4 and 2. So this is B transpose. Okay, let's just move on. And this B transpose is said to be the adjoint again, adjoint of this matrix A. This is adjoint of matrix A. Finally, to find A inverse is nothing but 1 over the determinant. The determinant is negative 6. 1 over negative 6 is negative 1 over 6. They multiply by the adjoint of A, and this is said to be the adjoint of A. We have 3, negative 3, negative 4, and positive 2. So here is the inverse of matrix A. If you like, you can take 1 over 6 negative. Remember, as a scalar, I multiply each and every entry in this matrix. But if you like, you can leave your answer in this way. All right, this is said to be the inverse of this matrix A. Now let us look on to how to find the inverse of 3 by 3 matrix. All right, suppose we have a matrix A that has these entries. You can see this is 3 by 3 matrix. And one thing again, you should know that you can only find the inverse of a square matrix. Okay, let's apply our formula here. A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A multiplied by the adjoint of matrix A. To find the determinant of this matrix, uh, remember this, let me write it here. We have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Because we, we, we are going to find cofactors, so we need this. Okay, determinants. Determinant of matrix A will be equal to, we are going to use the first row throughout, only the first row. Then we close rows and columns of the respective element. Starting with one here, you see one is positive, so we have one positive. Multiply by, we close this, we close that, this is what we have left. One, six, four, and zero. We are going to find the determinant of these four entries. One times zero is zero, then we subtract four times six, which is 24. 24. And this minus this is minus 24. So we have minus 24 here. The second entry is zero, and we have minus. We close this, we close that, this is what we have left. We are going to find the determinant of these four elements. Two times zero is zero, minus. Three times six is 18. Zero minus 18 is still minus 18. Then the last one, five, is positive. We use positive sign for that. We close this, we close that. This is what we have left. Two times four is eight minus three times one is three. This is equal to five. So we write five here as our determinant. Now let us simplify. You know, this is going to be zero. This is going to be negative 24. This is going to be 25. Therefore, the determinant of this matrix is going to be negative 24 plus 25, which is equal to positive 1. Therefore, 1 is said to be the determinant of this matrix A. Now let us go ahead and find the adjoint of this matrix. Remember that adjoint adjoint of this matrix is going to be B transpose where B is said to be the cofactors of matrix A. So we need to find the cofactors first, then we take it transpose. So let's find cofactors, cofactors of matrix A. We are going to start with the first entry here. 
at the top. We close this, we close that. We have these four entries. We are going to find their determinant. This time this is zero minus, this time this is 24. So we have minus 24. But the sign there is positive, so it will not change this. So we have our first entry as minus 24. So let's take the second one. You close this, you close that. This is what we have left. This time this is zero. This time this is 18. Zero minus 18 is minus 18. But this is negative, it will change it to positive. So we have 18 here. Moving on, we have this. You close this, you close that. This is what we have left. This time this is eight. This time this is three. Eight minus three is five. It is positive, so we have five positive here. Moving down, we have this entry. You close this, you close that. This is what we have left. Zero times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. Zero minus 20 is minus 20. So we have minus 20, but this is minus, so it will change to positive 20. We have this entry. You close this, you close that. This is what we have left. One times zero is zero. Three times five, 15. Zero minus 15 is minus 15. This is positive, so it will remain minus 15. This one, you close this column, you close this row, we have this left. One times four is four. Three times zero is zero. Four minus zero is four. So we have four. But the sign there is negative, so it will change it to minus four. We have this, you close this, you close that, this is what we have. Zero times six is zero. One times five is five. Zero minus five is minus five. The sign there is positive, so it will not change the sign. We have minus five. Come in here, you close this, you close that, this is what we have left. One times six is six. Two times five is 10. Six minus 10 is minus four. Minus four, but this is minus, so it becomes positive four. Then the last one, you close this, you close that, this is what we have. One times one is one. Two times zero is zero. 1 minus 0 is 1. The sign there is positive, so we have a 1 here. So these are said to be the respective cofactors of these entries. And you know this is our B, because we have let B to be our cofactors. So B transfers, we are going to take these rows and transform them into columns. So we have negative 24, we have 18, we have five as our first column. Then second row as second column, we have 20. We have negative 15 and we have negative four. This last row, we transform it into last column. So this is said to be the B transpose. And this B transpose is said to be the adjoint again. All right. So let's substitute everything into this formula. Uh, let me do it like this so that you won't get confused. Our A inverse, which is equal to one over the determinant. And our determinant is one, one over one is one. So multiply one by B transpose will not change it. Therefore, A inverse is the same thing as B transpose this time around which is equal to this. Because you can see this is our B transpose. So A inverse is the same thing as B transpose in this case. So this is exactly how to find the inverse of a matrix using the traditional way. Subsequently, I'm going to guide you through how to find the inverse of a matrix using shortcuts. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.